Good evening, this is the Financial Week. I'm Milton Walker. The Jamaican dollar recorded further gains today. At the end of trading, the cost of the U.S. currency was $129.31, the lowest it's been since June 5. The Canadian dollar has also weakened, selling for $98.22. Sterling is going for $165.79, while the euro ended the day at $148.33 on average. Chairman of the Sagicor Group, Richard Biles, is encouraging the government to be more ambitious in targeting economic growth. He says although the economy is improving, it's still lagging behind the rest of the world. Mr. Biles was speaking at a product productivity conference in Kingston on Wednesday. TVJ's Andrew Laidley reports. The Jamaican economy getting better, but strong growth still elusive. We have a lot of catching up to do. And that is why I want to posit with you that achieving economic growth alone, whilst an uh, admirable objective, uh, is not sufficient and that we need more. Richard Biles, the Sagicor chairman, said the growth rates lag because the country has not been ambitious enough to make the big push that is needed. The World Bank projects that in 2018 the rest of the world is going to grow at 3.1%. So if we achieve what I know Favor would like to achieve in this economic, uh, in this year, this fiscal year, let's say 3%, we really would just be standing still with the rest of the world and we wouldn't have caught up uh, what we had lost in the last 20 years. He argues that there's still uncertainty, which he notes is fueling investor skepticism. If I bought Jamaica as a stock, in 2013, I would have had a hell of a ride in the last five years. Do I want to hold that stock today or do I want to sell it? It would depend upon what I think Jamaica is going to do in the future. For the Business Day, I'm Andrew Laidley. The price of oil traded higher today. Oil for delivery in December went up by 65 cents to settle at $67.59 a barrel. It was, however, down 2% this week. The JC market index lost 7,317 points today while the junior market index was up by 17. Stocks posting gains included Access Financial Services, Carreras, Fosrich, Indus Pharma, Jamaica Broilers, Kingston Properties and Lasco Manufacturing. On the losing side were 1834 Investments, Blue Power, Carb Cement, Dermont Trading, Elite Diagnostic, Grace Kennedy, and Jamaica producers. That's the Financial Week. I'm Milton Walker. Good evening.